Hi, welcome back to Doris. In case if you're new here, my name is Doris. I'm a mom of four that homeschool, work full time, and is in college herself. So we are gonna set up my weekly schedule. This is my monthly view, and this is the first week. So we're just gonna set up the second week of September. So for September, I am more busy than usual. I started my CNA um, class on Thursday um, of the first week, and it's gonna be seven to eight weeks, I think, or six to seven weeks long. So it's going to take up a bulk of my time. I need that CNA certification to be able to go to the nursing school I'm trying to go into. Um, for my classes I'm doing right now, it's my pre-cred for nursing school. So I have a lot of classes I need to do. So my planner is an hourly layout just because it worked great for me. Um, so this week, I'm going to try to get a self-care in there, whatever time I can find. To get at least one hour of self-care just because i'm busy and i forget about myself a lot so i'm going to try to get one hour of self-care i'm going to fill out the date um so monday is going to be on the nine because that is my baby birthday he is turning five um so this is the eight for saturday up here this is what i just put what i want to focus for that pacific day and right here on Sunday, I am going to finish my meal planning because I did not do that on Saturday because I have my CNA class uh, on Saturday from 8 to 5. And that is usually when I'm meal planning. Um, so I didn't have any time to meal plan. Uh, when I came home at 5 o'clock, I fell asleep. Um, the kids was in my mom's house and I talk, called them. I was like, I'm going to take an hour now because I kept falling asleep in the CNA class. Um, so I was like, I'm going to take an hour now. When I woke up, it was at 9.30. So then I got the kids and it should be close at 11. So when I got there, I only had like 15 minutes in the store. I was able to get milk and things. So I wasn't able to buy all my ingredients that I need. Um, it is 5 a.m. right now and I'm still up. I'm just not about to go to sleep and I have to be up at 8.30 to go to church because <laughs> the kids get ready and they take a shower at night. So all I have to do is put clothes on. But I'm doing my planner because I need to know what I need to do for the week. And I started my meal prepping, but I'm not done. I only have two meals done and I have my breakfast. So I need to make three more dinner and then lunch for the week because I'm not going to be able to do it. If I don't do it, the kids are not going to eat. So I have to stay up. It's either stay up or have hungry kids. And I just decided two hours of sleep. Um, yeah, <laughs> I kind of want to cry right now. But so for Sunday, my goal is to try to finish my meal plan. So that's what I'm going to focus on. On Sunday, Fanny Mill prep. Okay, so then on, um, I'm gonna go to sleep at six, seven, and eight. Then we're gonna wake up at eight thirty. So I'm gonna be sleeping here. I already told um, Tess Abigail that way she don't wake me up until eight thirty, and I turn my alarm off. So then we're gonna be at church at night. It takes like ten minutes to drive here. So I'm basically just putting my clothes on and making sure everyone leaves the house. So then we're gonna do church. From 9 to 12 o'clock and then before we leave when we leave church we're not gonna stay or nothing like that we are just gonna go to the grocery store to get what I need um, so I'm just gonna put food shopping I don't know why I don't put grocery shopping I always put food because grocery would make sense so then hopefully we can leave the store and spend like an hour in and leave at one and then from 1 to 2 I am going to be meal prepping here uh till two o'clock and then at two o'clock <laughs> we are gonna leave the house because madison and sunny have violin lesson from 2 30 to 3 30 um so we're gonna leave the house and that is 50 minutes from my house to the location i time everything to know how long it's gonna take me to get there so <laughs> we're gonna leave and go to um violin lesson and that is going to be till 3.30. So hopefully I get home uh, by 4 o'clock and then I can sleep here before work. <laughs> so I'm going to sleep here. I'm going to wake up exactly at 6, 15-ish or 6.20. And then I'm going to go to work at 7. Um, yeah, so well, work is going to be here because I'm going to leave at 6.30. So then on Monday... Um, it's Dorian's birthday, so this is what the focus is going to be on. 
it's during your birthday, but the sad thing is this is the first time I am working on my kid's birthday because I usually have it, I usually ask for it all, but I need to work because you know, I need money and with if I take that off, I'm gonna be sure on my check. So I'm working on his birthday. So I get off work, I'm gonna get home around 7 30 ish right here. So I'm working still till 7 30. Then I'm gonna take Abigail to school. And then when I come up here, I'm going to do my morning prep for breakfast. I have a video that um, show what I do now because I'm sleeping. So a meal prep morning prep. Okay. So then hopefully by 930, I'm going to be sleeping. Okay. Mind prep right there. So by 930, hopefully I'm sleeping. And then I'm going to sleep from 930 all the way. My... 10 30, 10 30, 12 30. So, like right here, I'm going to wake up around 12 30 because my body naturally wakes up after three hours now, just because that's what my body's used to for the last two years. Um, so, if I go to bed now, I'm going to wake up around 10, um, 12 30. So, then right here, I'm just going to prep for homeschool or just hang out with the kids, uh, whatever I need to do. So, we're just going to do. Uh, or hang out with kids. Okay, and then around 1.30, we are going to start school. My plan usually is to start school by 1, but I'm just going to do at 1.30 because I decided to change my homeschool um, schedule. Um, so instead of us doing, the kids doing the school and we're doing a whole school day on Monday and Tuesday, I decided we are just going to do um school because a lot of time we don't do school on friday because i just the last couple of years i just haven't been doing school on friday it's been co-op day and things like that but i pull my kids out of the co-op so we're not doing any co-op on friday so i'm thinking on monday and tuesday if the kids just doing the math and, and phonics like independent work down the whole day of school we have wednesday thursday and friday so this would be considered one day monday and tuesday so i'm not going to focus on like a lot Maybe just focus on one kid for that day instead of just doing the whole thing. That way I can relax. And then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we can do school. And sometimes on Saturday, we may do school as well. That's like the whole thing of homeschooling is very flexible. So we're going to start homeschooling here. I'm going to use a different pen uh, right here. Okay, so we're going to homeschool until around 3 o'clock. And then I have to go pick Abigail up from school. Uh, okay so then whenever i get home i'm just going to around here when i get up because i'm school that 30 minutes is just going to be either hanging out with kids or do whatever i need to do but at four o'clock i still want to take a nap because i didn't take enough nap up there i'm just going to do both of those days and hang out with kids whenever i am um not working just because my body is um you know i need to take care of my body so then i go to work here okay i'm just gonna put that here too for this week i am working four days instead of three days um so i don't like working for this i hate working for this my body just shut down and then i go to church so when i figure my stuff out i'm just going to um um, ask for three days because that is full time. All I need is full time. I don't need extra hours, and I'm just gonna budget. I rather like feel like I don't need the extra money right now. I just need the sleep right now. I don't know if that makes sense. So working here, and then working here. Okay. So then on Tuesday, the only thing that's different. I am, well, my CNA class is taking a bulk of my time. So basically, up here, I'm not going to do any kind of school. I, I'm not going to do any kind of homeschool. Oh, okay. Okay, now I know. Now I know why I started doing, why I put the kids at the co-op. It's not because I want to do half day. It's because I don't plan on doing any kind of school on Tuesday because I have school. So, <laughs> so I am going to, my plan is um, now, with this, after I do the whole um, meal prep right here and get the kids stuff, I'm going to try to 
sleep till I have to pick Abigail up. So I am going to be taking some sleeping pills, which if anyone that know me in real life know I don't like pills, nothing at all, but I need that to stay asleep longer because like I said, my body naturally wakes me up at three, after three hours, but I want to get more hours because I won't be, I'm not going to be able to get the nap that I usually get up here. So then I pick Abigail up and then I have to leave at 4.30 because I have my CNA class from five to nine. So we're going to use this pen. So, and that is still nine right here. So I'm going to be late at work. And this is something I already talked talk to my boss about. Okay, that's what we're not doing in school. And I'm going to find some kind of sleep aid when I go shopping to try to stay asleep, to try to sleep longer. Just because I'm going to be in class and I have to do simulations and skill tests. I have to be up. I can't doze off. And then when I go to work, you know, I have to work. Okay, now on Wednesday, when I come home, I'm going to basically repeat my meal prep right here at 8 or morning prep. And my morning prep consists of um, making the kids lunch, um, warming on breakfast, um, prep, putting the snacks out and putting any kind of homeschool work that they need to do. So then when I do that and I'm going to try to sleep 9 to 9.30, and then till 12 or 12 30 and then we're going to hang around and i'm just going to try to do homeschool here at one two three and then we're going to get abigail okay and then i'm going to take a nap here because we're not going to church i'm working on that day until six and then wake up and go to work okay so on thursday for the next couple of weeks we are going to be skipping american heritage trails because that's usually what we do on thursday is that in trail life but because i have my cna class from five to nine on thursday so i cannot take them to that we're not going to be doing any kind of troops on that day so i am working here still till seven and then morning prep this is usually my day how it's set up um but i'm not gonna take any kind of sleep up here because i'm gonna sleep in a home so i shouldn't know i'm gonna sleep because i have that class before i didn't use the sleep but now i have to sleep because i have the class and i need to be awake so ooh, gonna sleep here and then that's gonna wake me at 12 or 12 30. And since I'm not working, I should be fine with not taking that or not. Okay, so then I can just homeschool here. Uh, and then till get, and then we're gonna get Abby. Okay. And then my CNA class is gonna be till, it's gonna be till nine, so 9 30 ish. And this is the only time I have to sleep home. So then on Friday, if I, whenever I do go to bed here, I'm going to wake up at 6 a.m. because I need, I have, I'm in college as well. And I'm kind of a little bit behind on my school thing. I already missed like two assignments. So on Friday morning, I'm going to wake up early and I'm just going to do my college work. So I have to take Abigail to school which is around 7.30ish. So I'm gonna just do that. And then I'm gonna do my morning prep. And then we are going to homeschool right here. So this is the day I'm going to make sure we do extra homeschool work. We need to do a catch up for whatever we miss um, on Friday because I have nine till three o'clock to homeschool. And I'm going to utilize that whole time. I know it's going to be long for the kids. So I'm just going to rotate with them to just make sure we catch up and do what we need to do. Or narration, I need to grade any kind of thing. I'm just going to do that. And then I'm just going to get Abby here. Okay. And then around when I will get Abby, I am going to come home, get dinner ready. This right here is a free time. 
get dinner ready. But on Friday, it's going to be our family fun night. So family fun night is basically us hanging out, eating junk food, and they can stay up all night. Um, so I'm going to hang out with them after we get home. We should start around 5 o'clock. Um, family fun night. We should start around 5 o'clock because dinner is at 6. So we start setting everything around 5 o'clock. We can end dinner. But I'm going to try to be done and just hang out with the kids till 9 o'clock. And then 10, just work on my college school work. And then college and CNA homework because we there's so much homework with the cna it is ridiculous okay and then saturday i have cna class from 8 a.m so i'm going to be leaving around 7 30 till five o'clock where is five o'clock it's actually at 4 30 but i'm going to be back at five o'clock okay so then after I come home, hopefully I'm not as tired because I actually sleep. I am going to do my meal prepping. I'm going to take an hour break right here. So this is where I want to do my little self-care um, right here. So I'm going to use the blue pen. Blue is my favorite color. So I'm going to do mom self-care. And then I'm going to go to the store. So after I want to go to the store, I'm just going to come home and do whatever meal prep I need to do. Right here, store and then meal prep. So this is how my week is set up as a busy mom. <laughs> um, every hour is accounted for. Um, when it's like not, I'm going to use that for self-care, but every hour is accounted for in my day. With my schedule, the only thing I'm really concerned about is me having enough time to homeschool the kids. It's, it's enough, but the back of my head is telling me it's not enough because when I do homeschool, when my schedule wasn't as crazy, I only go like an hour or two with the kids. And that's the same amount of time I have. A lot of the time we have till nine to three and we just hang out and play around, take a lot of breaks, but now I don't have that. So now I feel kind of, Ugh, that I'm going to mess up. Something's going to happen. Someone's going to drop something. There's not enough wiggle room in that. So I'm kind of nervous about that, but this is what I have to work with. So, you know, I'm just going to work with what I have and see how it goes. But thank you so much for sticking around watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you and have a blessed day.